Today's tutorial is going to be very simple. Even a beginner level watercolor artist can easily paint this. We are not using any complicated techniques, very simple techniques and simple washes. Okay, I will explain the entire process throughout this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notification. You will see how to make these kind of uh, uh, simple reflections, okay, and a uh, little bit textured uh, trees and the reflections, etc., in a very simple way. Without further ado, let us begin the tutorial. Today we are going to learn making reflections in water. So to make reflections possible, what we need? We need two things at least. One is we need water where the reflections will happen and we need elements, objects above water so that they get reflected. But in usual cases we have little bit of sky okay we have a little bit of sky here okay we have some water and we have some object uh, for a better composition let us make less sky and more water let us say that we have some sort of a we have some sort of a, a piece of land here okay we, we we have a piece of land for example here and we may have little bit of uh, some trees or bushes or something. To, see, these are just to create reflections. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you are able to see this darker enough. I'm changing the pencil and I'm drawing it again. Whenever you draw top of water, uh, try to make it little sort of a straight line. Okay. And let us make some sort of a bush or something here so that we get. Uh, reflections for the water here okay. usually the reflections of water the shape of the reflection of water will be something like a mirror image of the object okay so the mirror image of the object this particular piece of land is something like this okay right so and the mirror image of this okay and it will be something like this okay and we are talking about very, I mean, kind of a static water, still water. There is no much disturbance in the water. If the water surface is disturbed, then you get a lot of distortions. In the shape of the reflection will get distorted. Okay. Uh, I, I feel that we will make it a little smaller. Okay. So that I will try to add some, I will try to add some sort of a, a figure also here okay so let us add a figure here so that we get some reflection of the figure also here okay some figure here and let us see if i if we need something else okay if we need maybe a boat here if we need a boat here, we can also keep a boat here. Okay. And we will get a reflection for the boat also. Okay. We'll see. These are simple ideas. And let us make add little bit more depth by making another line here. And a little bit of more foreign things here. Okay. So narrow things. Okay, this is just the idea and these shapes are for creating reflections. Okay, we will not complicate it. Now what we need? We need a sky and the color of the sky can be applied for the water also so that the sky gets reflected. I am using this, this mop brush. Okay, uh, and let us make some simple sky. Let us wet, wet the paper, okay. So I am wetting the paper with clean water, okay. And let us, let us continue this activity. Okay. 
now it is almost almost completely wet I am doing it a second time just in case some of the areas are left untouched for the sky color I am using some touch of uh, cerulean blue okay. this is cerulean blue and maybe a touch of uh, ultramarine blue okay. and let us make it little strong colors Some kind of a strong color maybe adding a touch of violet also okay. see some some simple lines okay I'm not making it too much complicated and let us uh, try to create a reflection for this so this area is little purplish violetish so this area will get little violetish okay. this area will get more violetish kind of a ref reflection and and as it goes down it will be reflecting the top of the sky and it will be more bluish okay so let us add similar kind of uh, blue color cerulean blue and little bit of ultramarine blue and let us make it like this okay and maybe a little bit more darker blue here Okay, so I think we will stop at this, let it get dried. Now this is uh, dry, okay, now we can continue with the objects first. Okay, so if you have a proper drawing, you can even do the reflection first and then draw the object correspondingly or you can draw the objects first and then draw the reflections. So for this portion, I am using a little bit of a, maybe burnt sienna here a touch of burnt sienna maybe a touch of yellow ochre also let us see this is a piece of land this particular area I am talking about okay. this is a piece of land I am not precisely following the uh, following the drawing okay it is, uh, if you want, you can draw the drawings precisely. The drawing is just a loose kind of a, a marking that I do. Okay. And this is, this is where we get the, the land slowly merging into water. And maybe a little bit, little bit of a darker, darker touch. Burnt sienna and little bit of blue I am mixing. Burnt sienna and little bit of uh, ultramarine blue. Little darker versions. Okay. Here I think we can make it very bluish kind of a thing. Okay, bluish and purplish. Very pale kind of, very pale kind of a wash, okay. Right. I'm making it very, very, very thin, pale wash because uh, I wanted to just convey that this is at a distance, okay. This could be some sort of a, a far end element and I think we can also suggest some reflection for this, okay. Slightly, 
the reflection is kind of a mirror reflection. Here it is slightly raised, so here also let us raise it a little bit. Okay. Little bit darker. And let us now make the reflection for this. So the reflection for that can be again little bit of burnt sienna and maybe a touch of blue. Okay. Again it is like the, the shape is like that of the object above. Okay. Little bit of a shape change here. And here it is, I don't know, little raised and maybe we will cover it here also. And some reflection for this area also. Little bit of yellow ochre. I am taking little bit of yellow ochre. Okay, yellow ochre. And maybe some sap green, some uh, sap green. This is sap green, sap green and yellow ochre. And maybe I'm just suggesting some some tree here. Okay, I'm hardly touching this area. I'm kind of uh, making some brushworks, and I'm suggesting some tree, some bushes here. Okay. And let it be darker now, adding more sap green and maybe more of ultramarine. Okay. Darker things, darker things here. Okay. It is just to, to show some volumes, okay. And as it comes below, the, the amount of light hitting the bottom portion will be much lesser. So we will make it even darker there. Maybe a little bit of more darker tones around this area. Okay. Just a touch of something. Don't worry too much about precisions. This being green, I would ideally prefer red color there because it will, it will, uh, it, these are, these colors are complementary and uh, it may look good there. I am using little bit of uh, red color, okay, red color and maybe a touch of violet, okay, a reddish violet kind of a color. And just uh, and just a, a figure, okay? Don't it is not very precise. Some darker. I'll use some red color for the boat, okay? making it slightly bigger now we need a reflection for this okay so we have the reflection for the land we have the reflection for the faraway things we need reflection for the tree the figure and the boat i will wet this area wherever i need reflection i am wetting this area okay i am wetting this area and I am using the same sort of colors, okay? 
yellow and yellow ochre and this I am making some vertical brushworks and I am ensuring that the width is matching okay I am doing some vertical strokes I think this should have been little bit more this area is not wet I, I think we should have made it wet this area the bottom area anyway let us extend this now I am trying to create a mirror reflection of this shape okay and it is not very precise okay. now what we need darker color more color little bit more bluish color ultramarine blue and sap green so that we get some color variations also I think we need even darker color a little bit of burnt sienna okay. and blue I think our reflection went little bit uh, longer, but it is okay. I will sprinkle some water and some reflection for the figure. Same red and violet color. Okay, same color. So, <coughs> if you want, we can spread it. But this being very tiny thing. I wouldn't want to spread it, okay. But I am trying to keep the keep the width ratio same. Okay. And with a clean finger, I am going to pull it down. Okay. I think that much is sufficient. We will not make it too much. If it is too dark, we can soften it little bit. With vertical lines, okay. We had red color. We had red color for the boat. And let us make the red color for reflection also. And I am with the damp brush, I am softening it out. Okay, and maybe I am just pulling it down okay uh, maybe the shape of the boat isn't that great I want little bit of darker reddish color uh, to make make it little bit more darker and stronger Maybe something here. Okay. And the same kind of a color here. A little bit of reflection. And some reflection for this. So for the figure, I am using some thick orange color directly from the from the tube. I am picking it up and I am making this face, maybe hand. Okay. See here, it may not be required that such a reflection. Okay, and maybe I'll just add some orange lines here for highlights.
so anything more i don't think i don't think we need we need anything more i think this is very simple uh, kind of a reflection there is no complexities i'll i'll take white directly from the tube okay and i will give the highlight for the figure it's already the background is white but still i want little bit of a highlight for the figure and maybe a little bit of highlight for the edge of the board some white lines which might break some of these reflections okay some darker touches maybe draw some dark enough i think this area is not dark enough some darker touches okay take out the tape so now if you look at this is very simple subject simple sky and simple reflections simple tree simple reflection Sim uh, just a suggestive figure reflection very simple boat and the reflections the consideration we made is that this should look like the mirror image so this went slightly i mean taller but i think it is okay sometimes the reflection gets much taller sometimes the reflection gets i mean shorter it's all dip it all depends upon our viewing angle okay i personally feel it could have been slightly smaller okay so thank you very much uh, for watching this video i hope you could learn something about the behavior of reflections okay please do practice and uh, if you have any questions any suggestions or feedback please do let me know in the comment box below i'll be more than happy to come out with my answers so thank you very much and we'll soon see you with another interesting tutorial simple and interesting tutorial okay so thank you very much and happy painting